Have you ever been in a situation where you've had to make a really important decision in life or in business, but you didn't know what to do? Well, stick with me here because I'm going to share with you a key concept around core values and how to get clearer on yours so you can make better quality decisions to live more authentically in alignment with your life and manifesting your goals. Stick with me here. Hey there, it's Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly, founder of theglobalbutterfly.com and Awaken with Love and Rise with Pure Joy podcast. And today I want to share with you the concept around core values and why this is so important. First of all, what are they? Well, core values are simply the essence, the, the truest expression of who you really are. And they define how you behave. They define your character. They define on how you make your decisions in life. The problem is most people aren't aware of what their core values are. They've defaulted their core values to sacrificing them to attend other people's agendas, their values. And so sometimes it can be a bit of a difficult process to figure out what your core values are again. But I want to invite you to have a progressive mindset around this. Be on a journey of progress rather than just trying to lock them in immediately, but um, allow yourself to go on a self-discovery exploration. Now, core values, uh, they're a bit like a GPS in your car. So they are your North Star. They act as being your guidance system, your operating system for how you make your best decisions on how you choose the direction in your life. And so uh, knowing what your core values are and living true to them is going to make life a lot more wonderful for you. So how do you define your core values? Well, at a high level, which is what I want to introduce you to today, is you need to first decide what they are. Your top three to five core values. Going more than that is going to be a little bit overwhelming. You'll have lots of values in your life, but there are essence, there's core values that are at your operating system that will help you make your decisions, your best decisions each and every day. So you need to first decide what they are. So for example, love. I I use love as my highest core value. For me, that is a really important uh, value to operate from. Now, the next step is define. So you want to define the core value as it's true for you not according to what someone else thinks it is or how they value it. This is a really important part of the process so that you're not adopting someone else's rules around what that value means and being really clear about what it means for you. So for example, my core value of love, it means for me being compassionate and curious to be understanding of self and others. And so by having this core value, love, with this definition, It allows me to hold space, have the capacity because I truly love myself as well as I'm able to love other people and disagree with them. I'm able to love other people and not necessarily like their behavior. I'm able to love other people and maybe their behavior isn't something that aligns with me. Maybe it's even interfering. So I'm able to love them and have boundaries. Do you see how having a clear, um, deciding what your value is and a clear definition really helps you apply the value and being aware, self-aware around how you're operating with it. Now, the third step is to test it. (laughs) This is where people come a little bit unstuck because, you know, there's a lot of core values that a lot of people like on paper, but the question is, are you truly living it authentically? Um, One of these here I take, for example, is integrity or honesty, which are really core values for me as well. But under the test of them, um, are are you living them in alignment? So let me give you some questions to help you qualify that for yourself, whether you are. So the first one is, is there any amount of money that you would sacrifice your core value for? So for example, health is another core value of mine. And if you uh, were willing to sacrifice your health for amount of money, you might give it up. So... Uh, whether it is whatever the core value is for you. So for me, for example, uh, if, if if no one could pay me enough money for me to give up putting health at the top of my list or even love for that, for that manner. Um, and when it comes to integrity and honesty, 
I actually disqualify a lot of my clients, potential clients for the moment. Some of them are just not a good fit for the for the next steps in the journey. Um, some people are just not a good fit at all. And if they're not good fit for the journey yet, what I'll do is I will direct them to other resources that I have that are typically free or low cost. Um, and if they're not a good fit for me at all, I'll redirect them to someone else in my network or to another resource that I think would be a really good fit for them for where they're at. So it just helps, like, I'm not willing to take money in my business, for example, because, uh, you know, for the sake of money, if it, if it doesn't line up with the integrity of who uh, I am, what I'm, op what I'm operating, uh, what I'm serving and who it's for. And if it's not a good resonance, I'm not going to take money for that exchange. Is that, that's another example. Another one is um, health. So that uh, I've mentioned that one before. So there's no amount of money bribe or uh, anything that could equate to saving money even that I would discount my health. So the question is, where in your own life would you potentially sacrifice that? It doesn't mean that you disqualify that value. It just means, gives you that self-awareness, self-discovery and enlightenment of where, huh, maybe I need to tighten up my rules around this so I don't sacrifice that. Or if you are sacrificing it, well, it might not be a core value. Back to the drawing board. The second one that you want, the next second question that you might want to check in with is stress. Are you, are you living the core value even under a state of stress? So if you are sacrificing that and you're not living in, a, in alignment with that under stress, uh, because like an orange or a lemon, when you squeeze it, the juice comes out. And the same thing is true. We might look like we're a certain value set uh, when we are calm, but under stress, we default to a different one. Now, that can be aligned, but it gives you some insight in having a look at, well, how am I operating under stress? So the third question is involved about vision of your future self. Do you see your future version of yourself 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years down the track still aligned with that core value? Yes, then it's a core value. Fantastic. If not, it might not be a core value. It could be a seasonal value. What do I mean by that? Well, we're going a little dive very deeper here. I go deep into this, into the Awakened Soul program, which is my six-week group coaching training. But let me give you a little bit of insight. You might have uh, a set of, you will have a set of values that you will operate from in your 20s versus your 30s versus your 40s. For example, seasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. You might also have a different set of values that shift for you as you go into having children versus being, you know, not having children or being single and or being married or being single again. So you've got different values that you might operate from. But again, a lot of those won't be necessarily your core, core values, but they'll be seasonal values. So we're looking here and digging in deep for your core values. Number four, here's a really good test. Would you sacrifice your core value even if it gave you a competitive disadvantage? And I'm going to come back to integrity here and honesty. So there's a lot of people, particularly in business, that might do or say something different outside of their normal, you know, way of operating in order to take money or get money or get power, a promotion, status. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. And that would be a sacrifice at the core value. And it's also coming back into the money and the stress. But so that's a, a bit of an example in a tangible way in the professional world where, you know, it's a good test to see, would you stand true to the value, integrity and honesty, even if it meant you had less of the pie, so to speak. And because I operate in abundance as a core value, my answer is I don't ever sacrifice my integrity. So, for example, when it comes to uh, clients coming on board, the way that I take people through a very progressive progress is I disqualify people who aren't a good fit um, or I sort and sift people to make sure where they're at on the customer journey to make sure that they're resonating with the next step. And if not, they've got the resources. But I've learned very early on through a couple of missteps in my own journey of saying yes to receiving money, even though I thought, oh, I don't know, yeah, this, this person isn't particularly ready. It's taught me to stay congruent with my value of integrity and honesty with myself and who I serve and how I serve them. 
because it just doesn't serve anyone to be out of alignment. And I want to encourage that one for you too. And having a look at your own values, looking at those core values and testing them. First of all, define them. Well, sorry. First of all, decide what they are. Secondly, define them. And then thirdly, you want to go through and test them with those four questions. Those four questions, again, are related to, is there any amount of money that you would sacrifice that core value? Question number two is, is there, are you living that value even under stress or are you sacrificing it? And number three, you're going to look at your future self and say, can I see myself still operating in this core value down the track, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later at the end of life? And the fourth question is, would I sacrifice this value uh, even if I'm experiencing a competitive disadvantage? And those are going to help, those questions will help you choose your core values or rather than choose them, they're actually really defining them, revealing them to you, helping you to discover what they are. And then you'll be able to make your best decisions, especially the big life decisions for life and business or profession. And it will help you make a much more uh, enjoyable journey for yourself, making better quality decisions with better outcomes and results. And if you haven't yet got my free 33 page workbook, which is setting your intentions to clarify your goals and create your best year yet, make sure you grab yourself a copy now. The, the link is down below. So click that and I'll send it to you straight away. Until next time, um, make sure you like this video or the podcast and share it and leave a comment down below if you're on the YouTube channel. And love light, manifesting miracles, magic, and more. See you next time.